Welcome to this video. In this video, I want to talk about SAP queries. So how you can create pretty easily an SAP query on your own. Uh, what is mandatory. Yeah, and enjoy this video and let's get started. So in order to use SAP queries, first of all, you have to define user groups. To do this, first of all, you have to open up the transaction code SQ03. And then down here, you are able to enter one user group. So in my case, I just would like to create a user group called set underscore ERP underscore up. And then I click on the create button. And within here, if you want to, you can define one user group description. So in my case, I would like to name it as user group ERP up. And then I click on the save icon. Then you can link it to one package. I would like to create it as a local object to use the $TMP package. Then, um, yeah, if you want to here, you can assign users and info sets. We will do later on. So if you, for example, click on here, there you have the ability to, yeah, to, to enter specific users. So in my case, I would like to enter my SAP user, Andreas G. Then I click on the save icon and later on we will assign the user group to info sets we do right now. So basically you are, if we're going one step back, so with the menu function environment, then you can also jump to info sets. Or if you want to, you can also open up this if you would enter SQ02 in the command field to open up this transaction. And within here, that is, in my opinion, the, yeah, the, the core object of the SAP query, the info set, because there basically you define what kind of tables you would like to select, what kind of fields you would like to include and so on. So in this case, I would like to create an info set. And once again, I just name it set. ERP up and then I click on the create button and within here I just type in info set ERP up. Um, if you want to, you can limit the authorizations within here. You can enter a authorization group. I leave it blank and here what you like to, you have different options to specify the data source. You, if you can, uh, yeah, use a table join using basis table, you can direct read off table. You can use a logical database. You can data retrieval by program. What you like to. Yeah, and in this case, I just would like to use from the table echo, so EKKO. And on the options, if you want to, you can um, select no automatic text recognition or fixed point um, arithmetic. Um, yeah, if you want to, you can select further options. I leave them as they are and click on the continue button and here we end up in this yeah in this uh, editor where you basically if you want to yeah you can insert different tables so for example if you would like to do a join for for example the table uh, ECPO to to select also the line items and within here directly we see that yeah it has a, a wrong linkage in it so with right click we can delete this link because because basically the eBulb is a primary key of the line item number and it's the, the linkage is between the, the eBulb itself. Um, yeah, if you want to, and then we're going, um, yeah, uh, one step back. And here, if you want to, you can uh, create empty field groups or you can include all table fields. In our case, I just like to create empty field groups to just show you this. Um, if you want to, you can also, I would uh, change this, uh, save this for a second, uh, assign it to a local. I will also generate it. Uh, yeah, that's totally fine right now. I just would like to get out of this to show you how you also could have ended in here. So basically we were in the, yeah, in this kind of, um, 
uh, option, this kind of display. And if you would also, instead of going back, hit this button, Info Set Maintenance, then you will also end up in here. And basically here on the left hand side, we can see the joints, so what kind of fields are available. And here on the right side, we can see the field group data field uh, fields, and that is important. So that is the data being showed. And for example, we would like to show the, the ebon so as i'm doing right now just simply drag and drop um, the fields that you like to um or uh, yeah the company code is also important and maybe based on the purchasing document item we will just select the the e so the item number yeah, and maybe let's also um, let's also select the creator so the Ernam it's over here we can drag and drop it over here if you want to you can also delete field group you can also delete fields from field group you can create a new field group you can change it whatever you like to and then I would like to save this and then I would like to generate it and then we have generated our info set and yeah that's ready to go. If you want to, you can also do a, a little check in here, but now basically you have to have a generated info set to use this info set later on in the SAP query. And then we're going one step back and now we have one uh, yeah, info set created, set ERP up. And now we would like to, yeah, to, to assign this info set to our created user group. So we're clicking on this button, role user group assignment. And then we end up in here and then basically we're scrolling down and here we just have to yeah, to, to select the checkbox uh, to assign the table to this user group and then we save it. So we save the assignment and then the assignment has been saved. So and the last step we have to do is obvious, uh, obviously create the SAP query itself. So you can open this up with the transaction code SQ01 or what you also can do is under environment and then you can jump to queries so we would jump to queries here in this case we are in the global area and here basically we have to create our sap query so i once again name it set erp up click on create and here basically it yeah, it's it's uh, suggesting me the info set because it's assigned to my SAP user. If that's not the case, then you have to recheck the assignment of the user of the info set. Or, for example, if different info sets are shown, then you have to keep in mind that the user group itself is selected. So with this button, other user group, then you can also change to your created user group with double click. And yeah, then um, you sh your info set should be shown. So in this case, I would like to select this info set. Basically here, you can enter one title. So for example, as a peak query, ERP app, you can do additional uh, information here, what should be the output and so on. But what is really important is the basic list. So here we click on the basic list because over there, the yeah, the information are shown in the output and we would like to output, of course, the uh, the, the uh, yeah, the, the number. So here you have two columns. That is also really important. The list fields, so the fields displayed in the list and the fields appearing on the selection screen. So you have, first of all, when you execute one as a pick where you will see a selection screen and all the fields being shown where they have this checkbox selected. And in our case, we would like to display the purchase order number. We would also have the ability to select for them. Uh, also, the company code should be displayed in this one. Yeah, maybe we can also select for this one. And of course, we would like to output the able. And here you have to, to be careful because based on the sequence, you are selecting those checkboxes. The fields will be, yeah, will be shown over here. Um, so so keep this in mind and yeah then uh, basically you can you can save it uh, you have some some other options 
um, but basically you can also test it with this button and see the outcome. Uh, we don't want to select one variant, so this is what I mentioned. Here we can see our two selected fields, the purchase order number and the company code. And then I would execute this and now we can see our outcome in the ALV Grid Control within the SAP Query. And that's a really easy step and easy ways how you can create an SAP Query on your own without any ABAP knowledge. Yeah, it's pretty easy. So thank you very much for watching. Hit the like button, add a comment and subscribe for free. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.